EFCO supports Bridge Pier Construction with over 75 years in the business and with over 45 years supplying the patented all-steel self-spanning plate girder forming system. EFCO's amazing plate girder system enables contractors to form aerial concrete safer, faster, and easier. EFCO can form them all, from the simplest and easiest to the largest and most complex. Two columns and a single span. Multiple columns and multiple caps. Hammerhead caps. Inverted T's. Column pedestals. Arches. Cast in place and precast. Segmentals. On and on and on. What will it take to make your bridge piers and cap forming project successful? A contractor should be looking for a system that eliminates shoring from the ground, eliminates foundations for shoring, minimizes labor to assemble and cycle equipment, has an all steel heavy duty faceplate for a quality finish, uses standard components with maximum flexibility uses a minimum of form ties, if any, to place and strip, uses the EFCO support bracket system using the concrete piers to support cap forms, has a precision single line joint where form face plates meet, delivers when architectural concrete surfaces are required, has pouring scaffold as an integral part of the cap form, can be completely assembled at ground level and set in one piece with a single crane pick. Has supplier provided assembly, cycling and safety videos for crew instructions. EFCO provides detailed product information with assembly, cycling and safety videos. We have a library of videos for our products and offer as a part of our field service to help with the process of delivering successful forming systems has job site devoted field service with training and experienced personnel, has engineering, product and application experience excellence, has inventory availability through a network of warehouses, is designed to meet concrete finish requirements, is designed and built to meet job schedule requirements, is from a supplier financially able to back the product and process. The combination of the plate girder forming system with EFCO's experience, engineering, field service and forming technology provide a system ideal for all parts and types of bridge construction. EFCO systems can form all of them, footings, piers and caps. Should your design require it, curved soffits are easily formed when used with EFCO's standard ready radius system. In addition, EFCO plate girder forming system panels are interchangeable with a common bolting pattern, allowing the system to adapt quickly and easily to changing column and beam configurations. As an example, EFCO round column forms like the Ready Radius and EFCO light systems share the common bolting pattern and deliver a simple and effective solution for bullnose applications. The EFCO plate girder is widely known as the forming system of choice for cast-in-place aerial concrete and a preferred system for the construction of bridge piers and caps. EFCO provides you with an experienced support team ready to service your project and answer your bridge forming questions. The members of your EFCO team for your project are the EFCO engineer to deliver EFCO solutions for safe form work and support systems. This work includes project specific form erection drawings. The EFCO plant manager who will have the primary responsibility for shipments to your project and for lease projects the return of equipment process. An EFCO field service representative whose work can include toolbox safety talks with EFCO's animated assembly, cycling and safety videos for job site formwork crews and the district sales administrator for your project as your connector for all EFCO services and to answer billing questions. Please call directly to your job specific EFCO wraparound support team anytime. We deliver more than just forms. We deliver formwork job specific labor saving solutions.
In general, plate girder is a structural engineering term applied to fabricated deep steel beams. Specifically, plate girder is a trademark of EFCO applied to a modular form system patented by EFCO that is self-spanning and movable in large units or gangs for pouring concrete beams and other concrete structural elements. The form panels of the plate girder system work in a similar manner to a girder but with important additional features for forming concrete. The EFCO plate girder form system is just as the name implies. The modular forms bolt up to create a plate girder. When bolted end to end, the EFCO all steel plate girder acts as a self-spanning form and beam at the same time, eliminating shoring and the very important and sometimes very costly shoring footings. The same bolting connections deliver the ability to form large gangs for crane handling. Build your entire bridge cap plus the rebar cage on the ground where it is safe and very productive. Crane lift both the complete cap form assembly and reinforcing steel together into place with one pick of your crane. This avoids tying the rebar cage to an elevated form where productivity is lower and safety concerns are high. In fact, Plate girder panels can be assembled to any size bridge pier. The only limitation is the size of the crane. The EFCO plate girder is durable. The heavy gauge EFCO steel beam web does double duty, acting also as the form face sheet. The steel ribs of the plate girder system form panels serve not only as web stiffeners, but also as beams to transfer the horizontal pressures of the liquid concrete from the form face sheet to the top and bottom girder flanges. With a maximum rated capacity of 1,400 pounds per square foot, the plate girder can handle today's high performance concrete mixtures. On most pier caps to 8 feet and even 10 feet in depth, no internal form ties are required. Wow! EFCO does it with bottom yokes or soffit panels under the cap and top yokes over the top. To be successful with your bridge project, detailed planning is required, including the selection of equipment and detailed drawings with accurate dimensioning of the project. This work requires a partnership of your job site construction engineer and EFCO's engineering team. All projects are a little different from one to another, but it is our responsibility, working together, to put the system together that works for your project. Let's take a look at a few details of the system. EFCO's plate girder forming system has just a few major parts to give it its strength, durability, and versatility. The EFCO panels are built in precision fixtures to deliver excellent form joint alignment, eliminating offsets and minimizing grout leakage. To maintain this dimensional accuracy, it does not require whalers or stiffbacks, eliminating many parts and pieces as well as reducing the labor required for building, setting and stripping of forms. The EFCO Z-Rib provides the plate girder panel its strength. Positioned on the panel at one foot centers, the Z-ribs give you a structurally sound form with minimum deflection and help keep the face sheet flat. Use the plate girder panel with the ribs horizontal for a vertical column and you can produce an excellent architectural column without any internal ties. When the plate girder panels are used with the Z-ribs in the horizontal position and turned leg up, the ribs provide hand and footholds for easy climbing using the appropriate safety equipment. Each rib acts as a rung. Z-ribs in this position also provide a convenient place to store rugged ties and other accessories between pores and when flying forms. The simple and easy to use outside angle corner along with EFCO's fishtail chamfer produce a simple outside corner on an architectural column without the need for additional pieces. EFCO also offers a solid steel chamfer for the columns and cap forming. The high strength EFCO quick bolt carries column concrete pressures easily around the column. Compare this to the problems that other systems have with outside corners. The EFCO plate girder gets its girder strength from multiple forming panels with its corner bearing blocks connected by using high strength 1 inch by 4 inch A325 bolts. 
They not only align panels, but also allow panels to act as large steel form girders in beamwork. The EFCO Quick Bolt is the fastest and lightest form fastener available. In just seconds, the Quick Bolt can be inserted, nutted, and tightened with a spud wrench or impact wrench to achieve a tensile capacity of 19,000 pounds working load and a single fastener shear capacity of 9,000 pounds to connect form panels. When faster connections and superior concrete finish are required, the EFCO Quick Pin, in combination with the EFCO Quick Bolt, is a win-win team. The Quick Pin is an excellent device to quickly align form panels, ensuring and enhancing an excellent architectural concrete finish. While form work is still on the ground, scaffold brackets install quickly on the back of the forms with contractor supplied planks, handrails and tow boards. Whether you are using EFCO plate girder panels for rectangular columns or the EFCO round column system, the telescoping pipe braces make for easy alignment and plumbing bridge pier forms. The shoe holds the setup down and gives easy access to the anchoring bolt. Additionally, EFCO pipe braces are accessible from the ground, eliminating the need to climb for cycling. For the soffit of a bridge cap, consider EFCO's hinged soffit form. This feature can result in a substantial labor savings when the same form setup is used in multiple bridge pier caps. In addition, on most bridge work, ties are eliminated when the plate girder ribs run vertically and utilize the hinged soffit form to tie the bottom and top yokes to tie the top. No ties means no patching and rubbing, helping to reduce your labor costs. Whether the design of the bridge you are constructing requires single or multiple stems, the EFCO bolt-through tube support system is the answer for all bridge cap support. Cast in place through tubes in your square or round column allow strong EFCO through bolts to support the required system. EFCO engineering takes advantage of columns and other concrete cast structures to support bridge cap forming whenever possible. This eliminates the need for vertical shoring. Depending on your bridge application and the method of forming, you may choose to use either an EFCO wind beam or EFCO super stud for stability and plumbing of your bridge cap form. For decades, EFCO has provided the best value and lowest in-place concrete costs on bridge construction worldwide. Projects like the San Mateo, California Bridge, the deep water piers of the Richmond San Rafael Bridge crossing the San Francisco Bay, the four mile Sunshine Skyway Bridge over Tampa Bay in Florida, the Fire Island Inlet Bridge linking Long Island, New York with Fire Island, the Coronado Island Bridge crossing the San Diego Bay in California. I-35W St. Anthony Falls Bridge over the Mississippi River in Minneapolis, Minnesota. The Northumberland Strait Bridge connecting Prince Edward Island to mainland Canada. The High Five Interchange in Dallas, Texas. The West Extension of Highway 407 over the 16 Mile Creek in Ontario, Canada. The Fifth Street Bridge in Richmond, Virginia the dual-span 252-foot-high Monfayette Expressway, part of the Pennsylvania Turnpike crossing SR-88 at Mingo Creek, the Gandhi Bridge in Tampa, Florida, the Allegheny River Bridge in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Great Taipei Pylon Bridge, which will connect the cities of Taipei and San Chung in Taiwan, the Hoover Dam Bypass with close to 300-foot columns supporting a bridge connecting the states of Nevada and Arizona, and on and on. Bridge construction begins with EFCO and the plate girder forming system. There are many applications for the EFCO plate girder panel system. To name just a few, retaining walls, box culverts, bridge abutments, water and sewage treatment plants, shafts, and high-rise construction. This is all made possible with the all-steel EFCO plate girder faceplate modular lengths and widths, providing users with a versatile system that can be adapted to changing job conditions. 
For more information, see EFCO's plate girder catalog for item numbers, descriptions, and accessories. EFCO's plate girder forming system allows you to pour high quality concrete quickly under a wide range of requirements. Available for either sale or lease and distributed through a network of warehouse locations throughout the world, we are ready to fulfill your need. Now choose the right method for your project and with EFCO's plate girder system and wraparound support, you can receive the best value and lowest in-place concrete costs. Tell us how we at EFCO can support your project. Thank you. EFCO is the industry leader in aerial self-spanning concrete construction and the EFCO plate girder forming system will provide the lowest in-place concrete costs on your bridge project, including columns, piers, abutments and walls. Designing a best practice process for assembly, cycling and safety for your project is the key to success. EFCO has been involved in bridge construction for over 75 years. All projects are slightly different from one another. But by forming a partnership with your team and EFCO's engineers, this detailed planning process helps assure complete project success. EFCO's series of safety and training videos will share with you detailed demonstrations of methods for assembling and cycling the EFCO plate girder system for bridge pier construction. Because safety is everybody's job, this video will focus on safety and reducing labor costs and effort on your project. You must observe and follow all safety guidelines and applicable codes at all times. Think safety and work safely. Caution. OSHA requires the employer to provide a safe working environment. Contractors must comply with all OSHA standards related to bridge pier construction. Pay special attention to subparts L and M regarding scaffolds and fall protection. Fall protection must be maintained at all times while cycling the cap forms. When fully assembled, a cap form may provide fall protection using guardrails. During the stripping and setting process, there are situations where workers need an alternate fall protection system. Harnesses with lanyards or positioning hooks are recommended. It is suggested that workers install fall protection anchor points on the top of the cap to allow workers to safely access the top of the cap when guardrails are not in place. These workers may use ladders, scaffold stair towers, crane-held man baskets, or hydraulic man lift for access to the top of the cap. Please note that the assembly and cycling requirements for your project may differ from the examples used here. At EFCO, we will keep safety and productivity in mind as our engineers and field service representatives help you design the best assembly method for your project. The EFCO plate girder system is rated with a maximum 1,400 pounds per square foot pour pressure, allowing you to pour concrete easier and faster. Warning: Pouring too fast may cause form rupture resulting in serious injury or death. Do not exceed the rated capacity of the forming system. Planning the work and working the plan is the key to success. Good engineering support by both EFCO and your own personnel for your project is of course a requirement. EFCO engineers can help with panel size requirements, bolt through placement on columns, plans and specifications. In addition, and maybe most importantly, careful planning and consideration must be made in the assembly and cycling of any cap form. The complete steel form setup of plate girder, including the scaffolding, must be pre-planned in detail to facilitate the stripping and cycling of the form. Before assembling any forms, users should read and understand the drawings prepared by EFCO's engineering team. The drawings have panel sizes and instructions that are specific to each project. Understanding the drawings is critical for the safe and efficient construction of the bridge pier. Contact EFCO's field service representative or EFCO engineer for the project with questions about the form erection drawings and forms. 
Large form assemblies are made from plate girder forms connected with high strength bolts. These bolts resist high loads. It is necessary to pre-tension the plate girder corner bearing block bolts using a torque wrench to assure that the assembly of forms will become a single structural member. Other bolts, like the EFCO quick bolt, should be tightened snug tight. Refer to EFCO drawings for torque specifications. EFCO standard plate girder forms make excellent column forms. To assemble a column form setup, start on the ground with the plate girder panels lying face side down. Assemble the forms with the toes of the rib pointing to the top of the column. In this position, the ribs act like rungs of a ladder. With the addition of proper safety equipment, the EFCO column form can be climbed like a ladder. Caution! Do not use fingers to align the forms. Use spud wrenches. Bolt corner bearing blocks with 1 inch by 4 inch A325 bolts. Torque to 700 foot-pounds. With the one side on the ground, bolt on an EFCO heavy-duty outside angle corner. If the project is calling for a chamfered corner, EFCO provides an excellent 3 quarter inch by 3 quarter inch rigid plastic fishtail chamfer. The tail of the chamfer is inserted between the plate girder flange and the outside angle corner and secured with EFCO's high strength quick bolt. For column forms with many pores, EFCO offers a welded steel chamfer to the forms. If you're planning to strip the column in two halves at opposite corners, decide at this point where the fishtail chamfer will travel with the stripped form setup. Assemble the second side of the plate girder side form, repeating the same sequence as the first side. Turn the first side of the plate girder column form over, face sheet up, and set the second side of the column on edge and bolt it to the first side. Attach pipe braces with pipe brace shoes at the upper end. Temporarily tie this bottom end of the brace to the form with wire. Add lifting eyes to the top and apply the oil form release agent to the face sheets. Depending on the height of your column to be formed, this may be a good place to add a complete scaffolding setup to at least one side of the column form, including the EFCO provided scaffold brackets and the contractor supplied planks, tow board, mid rails and top rails. Fall protection systems for climbing the form should be installed at this time. Accessories for rope grabs or self-retracting lifelines may easily be attached at the top of the form while the form is lying down. The two sides of the column form should now be ready to set into place. Attach the crane to lifting eyes and stand up the L-shaped half of the column form that has the pipe braces attached. Set the form in the pouring position. Secure the bottom of the form with drilled anchors or pins while extending the pipe braces and securing them to footings or temporary concrete blocks specified by the job site project engineer. Using fall protection, climb the form to release the crane from the form. Another method for erecting column forms is to assemble the entire box while lying on the ground. The box may be lifted over the rebar and set in place if crane size and rebar allows this method. Similar to the first half, assemble and stand up the remaining L-shaped form assembly and set in place. Anchor the bottom of the form. Using fall protection, climb the form to bolt the corners with sufficient bolts to secure the form. Release the crane. Continue to bolt the corners until all necessary bolts are in place. Using pipe braces, square and plumb the column form. Carefully pour concrete in the form. Refer to EFCO erection drawings for the pressure rating of the form assembly. Warning! Pouring too fast may cause form rupture, resulting in serious injury or death. Do not exceed the rated capacity of the forming system. Pressure in the form is dependent on the concrete mix, the concrete temperature, and the rate of placement. EFCO erection drawings provide graphs to determine the rate of concrete placement when all the variables are known. It is the user's responsibility to monitor and manage the concrete temperature, the concrete mix, and the placement rate to prevent concrete pressure from exceeding the rated capacity of the form. EFCO offers a variety of support brackets and adjustable screw jacks designed to support bridge pier cap construction and eliminate shoring from the ground up. 
Bridge Pier Cat construction can be challenging. Detailed planning is required, including selection of equipment and detailed drawings with accurate dimensioning of the project. This work requires a partnership of your job site construction engineer and EFCO's engineering team. See EFCO's plate girder catalog for optional support brackets. The EFCO system uses bolt-through tubes that must be accurately placed in the pier. These tubes create the holes for the through bolts to hold the support brackets to the column. The most commonly used EFCO support bracket is the SB1, which uses two through rods, one and one half inch in diameter, placed exactly seven inches apart. For heavier loads and caps wider than the supporting pier, EFCO has a variety of support brackets to fit your project. These options run from a single one and a half inch diameter high strength rod to two inch diameter rods. Tape or wire the caps to the bolt through tubes to extend the tubes to both faces of the bridge pier. Place the double bolt through tubes with plastic caps at the proper elevation. Bolt through tubes must be precisely located and perfectly level both ways. Firmly attach the tubes to the column reinforcing steel. Remember that the tubes may be hit by falling concrete. They will also tend to float in the concrete if they are not securely tied down. After pouring the column and stripping the forms, the ends of the plastic caps are cut away to open the holes for through bolts. The next step is to mount the support brackets on the column face. Access to this work is usually provided using a hydraulic man lift. Place the one and one half inch through bolt through the column. EFCO through bolts have three inches of thread on one end and 21 inches of thread on the other. The end with three inches of thread is the end that is torqued. Place the SB1 bracket over the three inch threaded ends of the through bolts. Put washers and nuts on the through bolts, but leave only one quarter inch of thread extending outside the nut. On the other side of the column, install the other SB1 over the 21 inch threaded end of the through bolts. Put the washers and nuts on the through bolts, turning the nuts until the through bolts are tight. Through bolts must be pre-tensioned to the minimum torque specified on EFCO drawings. A torque wrench with a 4 to 1 multiplier is required. Place the socket over the through bolt nut. Apply the 4 to 1 multiplier to the socket with the handle of the multiplier projecting down through the hole provided in the bottom flange of the support bracket. The 1 and 1 half inch through bolt must be torqued to 1200 foot pounds. Because we are using a 4 to 1 multiplier, set the torque wrench to 300 foot pounds. Then apply the torque wrench to the torque multiplier. Before torquing operation is completed, both nuts must be rechecked for torque, one after the other, and again just before pouring concrete. Install the SJ2 swivel jacks and adjust to required elevation before setting the fully assembled plate girder cap form on the piers. For heavier pier cap loads, you may want to consider installing an EFCO accessory thrust bearing between the support bracket and the SJ2 swivel jacks. Assembly of EPCO plate girder formwork for your pier cap can be safely achieved on the ground. There's no need for performing potentially dangerous elevated work. After assembly, the cap formwork can be lifted and set in one pick and placed on top of the EPCO support bracket system. Depending on the crane capacity and rebar design, the rebar cage can be set inside the assembled cap on the ground and flown into position as one unit. Another method is to fly the rebar assembly in later after the cap form is set. There are a variety of soffit form options for bridge caps. If your project requires a fixed slope soffit, the soffit forms can be attached to the side forms with bolts through holes drilled in the side form. The EFCO plate girder Z-ribs give easy access and visibility to bolt through holes. For projects with varying soffit slopes, adjustable standard screw jacks are attached to the soffit form and then to bottom yokes supported by the side forms. When the bottom of the cap is flat, the soffit panel can be attached to the side form with outside angle corners, eliminating the need to create extra holes in the side forms. The EFCO engineering team can help you select the best option for your job and provide form erection drawings showing details of the assembly, placement, and cycling processes for your pier cap formwork. Let's start by explaining how to assemble a cap form with a flat soffit attached to the side forms with outside angle corner. 
Step 1. Start by constructing a cap form setup support structure with main supports at each wind beam location and at least 4 feet of vertical clearance for the hanging scaffold. A temporary setup of EFCO Super Studs may prove to be the best solution for a support structure. Place the bottom wind beams on top of the support structure. Step 2. Identify a level area to pre-assemble a plate girder soffit form. Assemble the soffit form panels with the ribs up, face sheet down. Attach the soffit panels end to end as specified on the EFCO form erection drawings. Attach the outside angle corners to the soffit forms. Depending upon your cap form being built, you may have multiple soffit assemblies to build for one cap form. Turn the soffit forms with a face sheet up and set on the wind beams. Attach the soffit panel to the wind beams. Step 3. Assemble the EFCO plate girder side forms on the ground with the face sheet down and the ribs up. Refer to the bolting and shimming guidelines outlined on EFCO's form erection drawings furnished for your project. Align the forms and bolt the plate girder corner bearing blocks with a 1 inch by 4 inch A325 bolt. Torque the 1 inch by 4 inch A325 bolt to 700 foot pounds. This is now the time, if required, to add the fishtail chamfer to the bottom edge of the girder forms. For high form reuse, EFCO can weld steel chamfer to the soffit forms. This is also the time to add the pouring scaffold and lifting eyes to the side forms when they are lying face sheet down. Make sure the lengths and breaks in the scaffold planks, tow boards, mid rails and top rails match the form cycling plan. Identify the location of the pipe braces so they will line up with the wind beams when the side panels are set in place on the soffits. Attach EFCO telescoping pipe braces near the top of the side form panel assembly with the pipe braces telescoped collapsed. As the panels are later lifted into place, the telescoped pipe brace will be extended to attach to the wind beam. Add the lifting eyes to the top edge of the panels, at least two lifting eyes to set the assembly on the soffit. Step 4. Set the assembled plate girder side forms in place and attach the forms to the outside angle corners secured to the soffit panels. While the form is hanging from the crane, extend the pipe braces attached to the form and connect to the wind beam to secure the forms in a vertical position. Step 5. Assemble the second side of the cap form following the same steps as the first side. Step 6. Attach any additional soffit forms not supported by an assembly structure. Step 7. Install the cap end forms to the side forms using outside angle corners. For the end forms, if chamfer is required, add it prior to setting the end forms in place, along with vertical outside angle corners. Step 8. Install the lifting eyes for lifting the total cap form assembly to the pier columns and remove temporary lifting eyes used in Step 3. Adding top yokes at the four point lifting eye locations is a must. The additional top yokes can be installed later. Attach insert angles to the soffit forms as required to accept a plywood closure around column. The plywood will be applied when the cap form is in place on the columns. Add a lower level of scaffolding to the lower edge of the cap form setup if required for your project. This should complete the ground level assembly of your EFCO plate girder cap forms. Method 2 appears to be similar to Method 1, but there are several important differences. Method 2 has hinged soffit forms. To permit the soffits to swing out of the way, the wind beams and pipe braces are moved to the top of the form. Method 2 allows the cap form to be stripped as one complete unit or one crane pick. Method 1 requires two crane picks. With method 2, the cap forms can be flown in with the rebar assembly inside or the rebar assembly preset on the columns ahead of time. Step 1. Assemble the super stud support structure with extensions for bracing the side forms. Step 2. Pre-assemble EFCO plate girder side forms using the same procedure as assembly method 1. Step 3. Arrange the soffit forms face down on a level surface. Assemble soffit forms with hinges on one edge and outside angle corners on the opposite edge. Step 4. Turn the soffit forms over and set them on the support frame. Step 5. 
Set the pre-assembled EFCO plate girder side forms on the super stud support frame and bolt to the soffit forms. Use temporary pipe braces connecting the support frame extensions to the top edge of the plate girder side form. Step 6. Place wind beams over the top of the cap setup and attach the permanent pipe braces from the wind beams to the lower edge of the side form panels. At this point, remove the temporary pipe braces. Step 7. Add the required top yokes and four lifting eyes to the top edge of the plate girder side form. Step 8. Complete the setup adding appropriate scaffolding, cap end forms, grade strips, insert angles for a plywood soffit around the columns, and oil the face sheets with a form release agent. To complete the hanging scaffold, it will be necessary to remove the extensions from the support structure. The plywood will be added to the setup after the cap is set in place. Assembling a hammerhead cap is very similar to method one. The major difference comes with the requirement to strip a hammerhead cap by splitting it in the center of the cap form and stripping in two halves. It is standard practice to build a complete cap form setup on the ground and set the hammerhead assembly in one piece. Hammerhead caps appear to be similar to multiple stem caps, but they may have special forming concerns. If the stem is narrow or the cap is super elevated, a tip over hazard may be present. Even if the cap is level and symmetrical, the concrete placement method may cause a tip over condition. The unbalanced loads are resisted with guy wires extending from the far corners of the form down to the pier or pier footing. There are conditions when additional restraints are also required. See EFCO erection drawings for specific instructions. Warning: Carefully review the drawings prepared by EFCO engineers for the hammerhead pier. There may be instructions for preventing tip-over hazards. Failure to follow the drawings may result in serious injury or death. Because most of the basic assembly steps for a hammerhead cap form are the same as method one, we will not repeat them. The most used setup for hammerhead cap calls for wind beams under the cap form. This gives us the opportunity to share EFCO's four methods to support the cap form soffits. The geometry of your cap to be formed will always, of course, dictate the best EFCO methods to use as there are hundreds of choices to choose from. The soffit support methods are 1. For flat soffits, the outside angle corner to connect the side forms to the soffit. 2. For flat soffits, a hinged connection, EFCO plate girder side forms to soffit. This was part of method 2. 3. For repetitious sloping soffits, Use a factory pre-drilled plate girder form panel bolted through the EFCO exposed Z-ribs. 4. For sloping soffits with varying slope angles, use bottom yokes to support adjusting screw jacks. Because hammerhead caps most often have sloping soffits, we will include the adjustable sloping soffit and push-in end caps with assembly method 3. For the sloping soffits with varying slope angles, instead of assembling soffits first and adding EFCO plate girder side form second, as in assembly method 1, follow these steps. Step 1. Cap form support structure adding wind beam. Step 2. Pre-assemble EFCO plate girder side forms the same as assembly method 1. Step 3. Set plate girders on the wind beams using pipe braces to stabilize setup. Step 4. Repeat step 3 for second side of cap forms. Step 5. Add bottom yokes to the underside of plate girder side panels. Step 6. Pre-assemble soffit forms adding soffit adjusting screw jacks. Step 7. Assemble soffit panel assembly into the cap form setup. Step 8. Assemble end form into setup. Step 9. As with methods 1 and 2, Complete the setups with all accessories required for the setup built into the setup on the ground prior to lifting into position on the columns. Cycling Method 1 After concrete has reached sufficient strength, the cap form will be stripped in two pieces. 
One piece with the soffit attached to a side form with the wind beam and the other piece is the opposite side form with top yokes. Step 1. Install blocks of wood between the top yokes and the cap. Step 2. Secure both sides by anchoring top yokes to the top of the cap. Step 3. Attach the plate girder side form to the crane. Snug the lines slightly. Step 4. Unbolt the soffit from the side opposite the crane. At the wind beam, unbolt and shorten the pipe brace from this side. Step 5. Unbolt the crane held form from the top yokes. Step 6. Carefully move this side away from the cap. The side and soffit will rotate as the form is lowered because the center of gravity of the L-shaped form assembly is not under the hook at the beginning of the move. Step 7. Land the side with the soffit on the temporary support frame and release from crane. Step 8. Attach the other side to the crane. Step 9. Release anchors to the top yokes holding the side form in place. Move the side form to the temporary support frame, landing the side form on the soffit outside angle corner. Step 10. While attached to the crane, bolt the side form to the soffit and reattach the pipe brace to the wind beam. Step 11. Attach top yokes at lifting eyes. Clean and oil forms. Step 12. Pick the form with the crane and set it on support brackets set ahead on the next pier to be poured. Step 13. Remove the top yokes. Step 14. Lift the rebar cage and set in the form. Step 15. Install the top yokes, wood closures, bearing seats, and anchor bolts if required. Step 16. Pour the cap. Cycling Method 2. After concrete has reached sufficient strength, the cap form will be stripped in one piece. Step 1. Set pre-tied rebar cage on the temporary support frame. Step 2. Install blocks of wood between the wind beams and the cap. Step 3. Secure the cap form to the crane. Step 4. With caution, unbolt the soffit form from the side form at the outside angle corner which is opposite to the hinge. Carefully swing the soffit form away from the concrete. A holding device similar to a come-along is recommended. Step 5. Break away the side forms from the concrete using the wind beam pipe braces. Step 6. With the crane, lift the form up and away from the cap. Land the form on temporary supports. While still attached to the crane, clean and oil the form. Step 7. Lift the form and land the form over the rebar cage on the temporary support frame. Step 8. Replumb the side forms with the wind beam pipe braces. Pull the soffit form back up and secure by bolting to the side form. Step 9. Pick up the form and land on pre-placed support brackets on the next pier to be poured. Step 10. Install wood closures, bearing seats, and anchor bolts if required. Step 11, pour. Cycling Method 3. After the concrete has reached sufficient strength, the cap form will be stripped by splitting the cap form into two halves, called left end form and the right end form. Step 1. Install blocks of wood between the top yokes and the top of the cap. Step 2. Remove support brackets and wood closures while standing on the form's hanging scaffold. Remove ties. Step 3. Attach the crane to the left end form. Slightly tension the lines. Remove top yokes over the left end form. Set top yokes on the poor scaffold and secure with wire. Step 4. Unbolt the center joint that connects the left end form to the right end form. Step 5. Swing the left end form away from the cap. Land the left end form on the temporary support frame. Step 6. Repeat steps 2 through 5 for the right end form. Step 7. Release the crane. Step 8. Clean and oil the form. Step 9. Set the pre-tied rebar cage into the form. Step 10. Attach the top yokes. Step 11. 
Attach the crane, pick the form, and land it on pre-placed brackets on the next pier to be formed. Step 12. Install wood closures, bearing seats, and anchor bolts if required. Step 13. Pour. For a complete presentation of the EFCO plate girder forming system, including additional applications like box culverts, retaining walls, bridge abutments, stadiums, commercial building cores and shafts, power plants and more, see EFCO's plate girder catalog. With EFCO's plate girder form system, you will be able to accomplish most of the form assembly operations on the ground where it is quicker, safer and reduces labor costs. It is EFCO's form equipment designs that deliver the best value and lowest in-place concrete costs. Please call directly to your EFCO wraparound support team when you need them. Thank you, and we are also available and want to help you on your next project.